Hi, my name is Max Mackinen. I'm a technical application specialist at Brainstorm Multimedia. In this video, we're going to take a look at XR productions and the issues we face when doing multi-camera in an XR production. Let's start by explaining how XR works. First, we need a tracked camera, which gives the position of the camera to Infinity Set. Infinity Set then renders the scene for the lead wall. Then the camera captures the rendered scene and the talent, giving us a final image composite. Then as the camera moves, the rendered image changes to match the camera's movement. When we do uh, XR productions in multi-camera, and when we cut from one camera to another, we actually need a lot of different things to happen at the same time. Firstly, in XR productions, we need to understand that each camera has its own unique point of view into the virtual world, and that the screen needs to display the unique background for each camera's unique point of view. This means that when we cut from one camera to another, for example, from camera A to camera B, when executing that cut, we also need to change the content on our screen. That is to say, cutting from camera A to camera B is just not a question of cutting between the cameras, but also changing a signal going to the screen. However, due to inherent delays in the XR signal chain and the screen not being able to reproduce content or switching content as quickly as a camera cut, we will actually end up in a situation where when we cut from camera A to B, camera B will actually see the background of camera A for a small amount of time. This means that if we want to do a multi-camera production in XR, we need to execute the cuts in a different way. Normally, what we could do is use macros in a production switcher, or alternatively, control a video router with clean switching capabilities. This is something that Brainstorm demonstrated at NAB 2023. And if you're interested in that workflow, please see our videos from NAB 2023. However, even with this workflow of creating macros and synchronizing the cut between cameras and synchronizing the cut of content to the screen, we still have some remaining issues. Firstly, if we're in a multi-camera production, Normally, we would want the production crew in the control room to be able to see each camera's image with the correct background. But in the macro workflow or the synchronous cut workflow, what actually will happen is that in the control room, there will be a live image for each camera's point of view, but only one camera will have the correct background and that would be the camera that has been cut on air and cut onto the screen. Each other camera will actually see a live image, but with the incorrect background. And this makes directing a show much more difficult. It also means that camera operators do not have an easy way to completely and correctly frame their image, making their work much more difficult as well. To solve these issues, we're going to look at a unique technology today called Ghost Frame. Ghost Frame allows us to display both cameras' images at the same time on the LED screen. That means that the LED screen will be running at a multiple of the camera's frame rate. That is to say, if the cameras are running at 50p, then the screen will be displaying images at 100 frames per second interleaving the signals or the backgrounds for camera A and camera B. Then we will simply adjust the shutter speed of each camera so that each camera only captures the image for half a frame's time. That is to say, in a 50p workflow, each camera would only be capturing the image for about 10 milliseconds. After that, we can simply offset the genlock signal for each camera resulting in a situation where each camera only sees its correct point of view. This means that we can execute a normal multi-camera shoot without any of the added complexities of building macros in a production switcher, and everyone will see the correct image at all time, allowing them to correctly frame their shots. Now, Brainstorm's unique software capabilities and workflows 
allows us to very easily integrate into the Ghost Frame workflow. Additionally, the Ghost Frame controller can also show things like still frames, teleprompters, or videos on the screen only visible to the host and not the cameras. And since Brainstorm licenses allows us to output as many outputs as we want, and since we have our Aston graphics tool together with Infinity Set, we can very easily create teleprompter outputs on the screen only visible to the talent on set and help their work uh, flow more easily. Now, I hope that this video has answered the questions you have about the Ghost Train multi camera workflow. But if you have any doubts or questions, please feel free to contact us in the email address mentioned in the image. Thank you for your time.